Okay, yeah, guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your engine bay look from this to that. Welcome back to another video today I'm gonna to be replacing the intake manifold and uh, I'm gonna start by removing the battery the intake and the simple stuff and maybe I think I'm gonna be putting the car jacks and so that way I have some more space to play with it and uh, it'll be easier you don't have to do it but in my opinion I don't just to make life simple so I'm gonna be removing the front bumper intake and battery so see you in a bit just like that the bumpers out intakes out batteries out and you can see a difference on the engine bay I mean you have plenty of room to be start working removing all of these plugs and sensors uh, throttle body fuel rail and mainly mainly I removed the front bumper because there's two brackets under the intake manifold and uh, since the car is on jack stands no bumper it'll be easier to go in and out removing those brackets So this is the bracket that I was telling you guys, I mean there's two, there's one right here, so it is a 12 mil right here and there's another one, I'm gonna be needing an extension, so those are the brackets that if you don't take them, they're gonna be good. As you can see those two hoses right there, grab a piece of rag or old t-shirt, something because when you remove those two lines right there uh, coolant is gonna start coming out so you don't wanna mess on, on, on your garage floor so keep that in mind alright so same thing with the fuel line uh, as soon as you disconnect this part right here which is the line that feeds the injectors so fuel is gonna start coming out so better be careful uh, something that I've noticed it is that that bolt right there that bolt right there they're supposed to be studs so looks like the previous owner or somebody prior me obviously uh, did remove it and uh, it makes my life easier because that one right there mainly I mean I did my research everybody kept saying that it is so hard to reach or take out because yeah I'm guessing that the position that it is uh, right next to the power steering pump so that's a 12 mil 13 13 and 12 and that one right there I'm guessing that I'm gonna have to reach that one from the bottom Alright guys, so quick little update and um, didn't know about this one. So that part right there is supposed to be going in here, right? So it does fit. Thing is that the fault that is supposed to go in is 10. It's 
too small. One that we are supposed to be using is 12, so it don't don't fit in here. And I'm thinking maybe try and see if I can drill a bigger hole or try and see if I can separate this part right here so that way it'll work. Uh, let's see. Alright guys, so the intake manifold is in. Now start button and stuff once again. Here's the fuel rail. As you can see everything is all back together. Fuel rail, intake, throttle, whole nine yards. So I'm gonna prime it and hopefully it'll start. Alright guys, so the car is done, no issues whatsoever, it's running fine, uh, there's a few things that I don't like, like this one right here, uh, so I didn't find a hose that perfectly fit, and I uh, have to still plug in the cruise control, other than that, super happy with the results, if you have questions, just let me know, leave it, on the, leave it on the comments down below, uh, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.